Hello YouTube and fellow TubeLug members, it's breaking it up, and we have a tutorial for you today, but since it's not Tuesday, we're going to call this Thought So Thursday, because some of you have seen this on Instagram when I posted it, and I'm sure you guys looked at it and said, huh, I wonder how he made that, I wonder what elements he used, huh, and after this you'll be like, I thought so, so, Introducing Thought So Thursday. So, we have a parking meter here. These are going to go into Mock City. These are going to be one of the new details. What I'd like to show you is how we made it, because there's many parking meters out there, and they're all fantastic. You can go very minimal with a simple stick and the bottom of a lever piece or the antenna piece. You can go elaborate and you can go anywhere in between. So I was tinkering around and this is what I came up with. So let's take a look at some of the elements that are used. First off, we have the main element, which is this unique technique piece. Now there are a couple of ones that look like this, but they have the pin in it. But this one you see is hollow, and it has little tension bars in there, in the middle, and that's the key. And then the bottom is just your normal pin. Alright, and then we have a headlight brick, and that is detailed with the coin, the printed coin there. There we go, that's better. And then the one by one round brick, and the dish in the bottom. Now you see that these are inverted, so how did we get the dish and the brick stick? Well, flexible hose. I know some of us are on the fence on whether or not to cut Lego. Flexible hose is one that I find is consistent among the masses that you can cut. I agree. I don't have any problem with anybody doing with whatever they want with their Lego. It's your Lego. Create however you feel. I am 100% comfortable with cutting the flexible hose. And that's what we did here. And without it, this base would not be sturdy. Alright, so, we put these back in here, like such, and then, the detail, the showstopper, if you will, is this simple, common, little printed dial, right there, and you see, it's extended from the dish by one stud, and that is all about balance and friction, because when it comes in here, you hear a little snap right there and you see I use green just to demonstrate but you can use any color that would conceal you see how it stays right in there just like that and then the dish in the back keeps it from falling out the front makes it just that much more stable and adds a little bit of detail and framing if you will and then one other feature that's quite nice is you can rotate it. So it's as if the dial moves. So it's got a little playability to it. My preference is that look right there. That is my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed this installment and this tutorial of Thought So Thursday. Now you can sit there and be like, I thought so. I thought that's how he made it. So leave your comments down below. You guys have any ideas or other things that you've seen us post that you want us to break down for you? Let us know. Be more than happy to do so. Till next time, keep bricking.